It's recording now, okay. So my name is Fernanda Rossetti. And I am Jacob Perez. And we are analyzing population growth of bunnies through Simulink. So the model that we choose is the single species of rabbits, and this project has the purpose of analyzing and estimate the population growth of bunnies using a model of differential equations and running this equation and simulating it using the MATLAB program. And the tool that we are using is the Simulink. So for the results, we included the graphs. So this way you can have a better understand for each case. And the graphs included in this project shows the rabbit's growth over time. The object of the equation is to analyze how the number of rabbits will vary over the months with an initial number of rabbits in uh, some given location. So taking consideration the carrying capacity of this choosing location and the rate at which the rabbits reproduce. So the equation here, uh, the R is the number of bunnies to start. The K letter is the rate of rabbits for each month for each of the rabbit we produce. And the letter B, the variable B, is the carrying capacity of the location of the bunnies uh, th that they are located. OK. So for our results, um, as you can see, the first three months that the, the rabbits are in the said location, uh, it's actually their population growth is increasing. But then after this, after sev seven months, the, the rate actually decreases. And this is because of the carrying capacity and reproduction rate. The reproduction rate is actually fairly huge. So what ends up happening is in the first three months, it's quickly increasing. And then because it's about to reach the carrying capacity, it has to start lowering the value of the population growth. And in actuality, according to this differential equation that we use, if time was to pass infinitely, it would uh, the value would eventually reach zero because at that point it would have reached the the carrying capacity that we set and to compare this oh to compare this this value we decided to use the values from the book which was 2000 we started with 2000 bunnies and the reproductive rate was 0 0.1 and the carrying capacity was 25000 if you see from the graph uh, the time used was actually larger because the reproductive rate was a much smaller value compared to what we tested. And proportionally, the starting bunnies compared to the carrying capacity is a smaller value. So the bunnies are allowed to reproduce for longer periods of time until they reach the carrying capacity. And yeah, as you can see, it becomes like it goes up and it starts becomes steady. But it doesn't exactly drop yet because it's going to take a longer time than the time listed here. You can pass one more time, yeah. So for this third gra graph, we are comparing the both uh, the both graph that we did previously, and comparing this both graph, we can see how carrying capacity and reproduction rate affects the growth of the number of bunnies being added to the general population. So we can see that the first graph, the red line, uh, shows a decrease in the population growth along the months. And the second graph, that is the blue line, shows that there is a slow increase in the population growth over time because of the different carrying capacity and the reproduction rate. Uh, therefore, we can conclude that the number of rabbits per month is related to the environment's carrying capacity and the rate at which the rabbits in, in this environment reproduce. These are our references. Thank you. Thank you.